Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Black Skylands with our adventure high up in the skies. This video is sponsored by the developers. A big thank you for that. Of course, if you guys like what you see and you want to learn more, there is a link in the description down below. So in the last video, we freed up one of the really big ships that the father ship is going to need to take on Kane and his howitzer and also just keep our resources flowing. I spent even more time in between videos clearing out some additional islands and gathering up some resources. The result right now is that I'm pretty much as decked out as I feel like I can be without a little bit more exploration down to the southwest, which is where I need to go for our main quest anyway. I've also built up a brand new sky ship. This thing's called the Elephant, and it's freaking huge with four cannons on it, and I upgraded this thing about as much as I can. So we're looking at a much, much, much higher combat rating than we had before. Goal is straightforward. We want to go down here. We want to finish out whatever you and the announcement to do. I want to find the second ship, and then before we end up this sponsored series, I want to go into the Swarm region and just see how long we last, like if at all. Because this is where all the Tier 3 resources are, and this is what I need to continue upgrading. Until then, it's mostly just questing. So take a look at this bad boy. Oh man, the ship is a little bit slower than what I had before and not quite as maneuverable, but it does have a load of health and it packs one heck of a punch. Could go for another type of ship later on that's a bit smaller and more agile, but I like the idea of having four cannons on this thing. It's just too good. It's too good to pass up. When in doubt, blow things up more effectively. That's how you win the game. Okay, so we're back at Turtle Town and I'm talking to Ewing over here because he's gonna help me move on toward the next round of questing. He's happy that we retook our ship, but it's not really intended for battle, so we kind of need to refit it in some way. Please tell me we're not going to go see Harold the Blind Engineer. I didn't show this on camera, but there was a side quest where he created a flying turret, and it went and killed a whole bunch of innocent people. He's not a responsible person. Oh good, it's not Harold. Okay, we're going to Forearm Frank. Now, the great thing about going to Turtle Island, despite the fact that it's very perfectly decorated for Christmas, which, uh, at the time you're watching this, Christmas will have been just a couple days ago, so very fitting, um, there's more upgraded shops, and now we'll be able to start buying out some Tier 2 resources if we want. For example, additional aluminum ore is very exciting. Now, we need pigskin for that. I haven't shown you that that is a thing we can do as of yet, but if I travel back over here, we've got some little farms over here, and you can plant down either a chicken or you can plant down a pig. You grow them, and then you slaughter them. And that's how you get either feathers or pigskin. Now, some other fun little perks that I've gotten for myself include the ability to place down some turrets, like this. And the little guy just starts shooting the ever-loving daylights out of everything. This is something that's just on a simple recharge, so every, like, minute or so, I'm able to set one of those down. It's a huge DPS booster. If you're wondering how I got some of these extra turrets and stuff, it's actually these energy crystals. There's a vendor back home in the father's ship uh, who actually can convert these things into knowledge and science, which unlocks some really awesome new stuff. So, if you want to get those unlocked, look for the energy crystals and solve puzzles. Ooh, we seem to have gotten kind of a new little perk. I was chasing after Forearm Frank. He's all like, ah, oh, no, don't mess with me, you falcon. And I'm like, no, that's stupid. I'll chase after you. And he just kind of disappeared really fast. So I found a gizmo chasing after him called a Time Stopper. This is going to be a whole bunch of new puzzles, isn't it? All right, hang on. We use a time stopper that gets this thing out here. And look at this. We're moving faster. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that got close. Uh, are you going to fight me over it, Mr. Doc Ock? I really hope you don't. Well, he may not, but some flashbangs just went off. So I have no idea what's coming anymore. No, he's in a giant turret thing. This doesn't seem good. It's Blast. Right. Another one of Kane's lieutenants. Okay, it is boss battle time. Okay, buddy, I really need you to drop the time stopper, so I'm just gonna sneak around you and shotgun you. Pew! Is that gonna work? No? Gosh dang it. Dude, give me give me the time stopper. I need that time stopper. Sneaking around and pew! Haha, -ha, that's the trick. Alright, I get it now. Whoa, he swivels around so fast, and they keep spawning new ads, so I'm guessing that my best hope is to keep chasing down this guy holding the recharge, so I can actually do something. The good news is his turret's not exactly shooting at me, so. We're okay-ish, kind of. Anyway, pew! And now he's bringing out bombs. Oh, good. So now I have to worry about him bringing big bombs that'll go boom, and somehow... Wait, how did that work out for you? That is this... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you idiot! Uh, okay, I don't know exactly what he's gonna do with bombs, but that's a whole other wrinkle in my plan. Oh, answer. I've got to somehow get them close to him. Oh, wait, not like that. Okay, hang on. That's kind of the idea, though. Pew, take this, get it closer, drop it off. No, no, drop drop it off. Thank you. Ah! Okay, I think that actually worked, even though I'm pretty sure I should have died from the arrangement. <laughs> he blew himself up with his bombs. Beautiful. I love this, by the way. Frank is going to help me refit the ship into a battleship. Now get in the box! Like, I love that people just sort of accept that this is the way of things, all right? It 
doesn't have to make a load of sense. They just get in the box. Oh, okay, sure, that's normal. All right, Frank, buddy. Let's see what you're able to do with this thing. You need stuff, huh? Tools, spring, parts. Uh-huh, okay, so we need a strong spring, which means I have to go to another island. This island's just a little bit tricky trying to get to the spring. You have to approach it in a certain order to get some of these giant things over here out of the way, just enough to sneak your ship into the island so you can clear the rest of it. Kind of clever, honestly. The level design of this game is getting increasingly pretty complex and pretty good, honestly. Uh, I find that I'm running into occasional puzzles where I'm like, oh, that's new, wasn't expecting that, okay. Which, you know, I personally consider to be a good sign. The game should be able to throw new curveballs at you and keep things kind of fresh, you know what I mean? Honestly, I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I know, I know, some people will be like, well, sponsored content, blah, 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 but like, legitimately, I actually am having some fun. I'm enjoying the time that I'm spending playing this. It's a pretty nice change of pace from what I normally do. And yes, by the way, turret OP. OP as heck, it's awesome. All right, so we got the spring. Does this mean you can turn this into a battleship now? Can I pilot it? Because that would be really fun. I'll convince Shanty to declare war. Are we not already kind of at war? Eh, uh, that's fine. Whoa, my God, why did a giant bird just suddenly land on my ship? Okay, that was unexpected. Um, <laughs> And here I thought I was about to go and get the second ship, but it turns out the bird had other plans. Right, thanks, big bird. Do I finally get to use these big bird nests? That actually be really handy. That was the mother of falcons. She brought you here to protect you, I think. You see, it's the think part that scares me. Okay, actually this is crucial for the plot. So, in order to get to the second ship, it's currently locked up in an island because they were smart enough to place gates where the uh, access points are not able to be taken by an intruder like myself. So, we need to ride the bird over onto the island, but we have to also get her eggs back first. Ah, yes. Okay, this feels like a very classic RPG kind of moment. And by classic RPG kind of moment, I mean, like, there's always another step to the quest than you think there's going to be. But that's okay. This is how you have fun. Okay, found an egg. Gotta call the mother of fa- Whoa! Okay, she got her egg. Nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be able to carry me around between nests. It's either gonna be another form of fast travel, or the nests are linked to each other in some way but it's still gonna access uh, hidden areas that previously were not available to me. So no matter what, I win out of this arrangement. Why is there a giant key that says 42 over here? <laughs> is this a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference? I feel like it totally might be. Uh-oh. I hopped onto the ship and there's Rhoda. Hey, shrimp. I don't like being called shrimp. A ro lot of the rocket launcher here. If you try to steal a ship, you'll find yourself at the sky bottom in no time. Well, there's no one here to help you, so can I fight you or- Wow, okay, she's just launching stuff at me. Right, no idea where the boss is, but we probably shouldn't stay put. Ring around the spinny blades of death, pocket full of dead melee guys? I don't know, seems like a bad plan, guys. Maybe try going a different direction. I don't know, but this is a great place to fart out some materials, holy crud. And that's the third egg. I'm assuming that's the last one that I'm going to need before the board is gonna help me out. Okay, so all we gotta do is whistle. Come forth, mother of falcons, whee! And now it looks like we're ready for a boss battle, and I have to use a ladder up into a gigantic tree. Mm-hmm, oh good, she flies. Okay, this is gonna be nice. Great, great, okay. That's a lot of bullets you're firing at me there, Rhoda. Whoa, I forgot, okay. Um, let's try, woo! -hoo -hoo. Not to fall off of all the platforms. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit problematic, but you know what? The turret alone could probably win me this eventually. And on the off chance you're inclined to feel even moderately sorry for some of these people, apparently she's like unironically a cannibal. So don't feel bad. There we go. She goes down. Hee <laughs> hee. Easy. Respect. From a cannibal? I think not. And the ship is mine. Oh, good lord, another messenger moth. News travels fast, you cause quite a stir, and even dealt with the overexcited cannibal. Shanty refuses to attack. Gosh dang it, the earners are still unwilling to fight. Ugh, bunch of cowards, the loss of them. Ah! Okay, um, I came upon a grisly scene. It looks like something bad has happened here. Uh, what? Right. Cowardly Shanty the Earner, the Elder, who's apparently in charge of this whole, like, war declaration thing, um, just watched her entire home get bombarded by the howitzer, just like Fathership, and she's like, eh, I think it's time to just pack up all the essentials and leave and find a new home. Why? Gosh, dang it, you got an 18-year-old BA girl who's here ready to kick some falcon butt. Let me just take the battleships and win. The good news is it looks like we're just gonna usurp her. Everyone else is like, uh, screw this nonsense. We're gonna go fight. Let's see, I met a hunter recently who told me about a huge monster in the lands to the south. Uh, pretty sure that actually is where all the swarm monsters are. 
Yep, well, we said we wanted to do that in this video, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. The game is finally sending me after tier three resources. If we're gonna be fighting against the swarm, then the best thing I can recommend is we actually swap over to some different gear that I've crafted. Hunter armor reduces the amount of damage from the swarm. Since we're not fighting any more of the falcons, apparently, uh, this seems like the obvious way to go. Right, well, here goes nothing. To the south we go! I'm a little bit scared of this place. I've got absolutely no idea what to expect. I already see some enemies on the uh, the map. I think I'd rather try to avoid them for right now. Why take any unnecessary swarm entanglements? Ooh, we've arrived at South Aspia. Yup, monsters are invulnerable to standard weaponry. Oh, um, um, mm. several special weapon mods and a special cannon. Well, frick me. Okay, uh, we definitely need to run then. Let's not fight these things. Oh god, they're everywhere. They are huge, and they are everywhere. And also, I have no functional map here, and they are definitely giving chase. Right. Run! The thing is, this is where I can find those tier 3 resources, like marble. I need stuff like that. Oh god. Um, ah, uh, ooh. Hey, Luma, grab that. Run! 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 They explode! Yeah, no, 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 no. We're not messing with that. Question, can I even hurt you? Yes, but not very well. What is all this stuff? There's, like, eggs on the ground. Oh, no! It's spawn monsters, right? Run! Oh god, this horror this place is horrible! Okay, note to self. See an egg, blow up an egg. We are not messing around with these guys. Don't give them a chance to spawn. Oh man. I feel like I'm being super greedy right now. I want these tier mods and stuff. They're all good. I'm supposed to get mods in order to kill the swarm, right? That's what I want. The good news is, it looks like none of them have range attacks, or at least very few of them do. So as long as I can keep out of their reach, we're relatively safe. This is actually really kind of fun, flying in blind. It feels like everything's much higher stakes. I've been so accustomed to knowing exactly where I'm gonna go. This place is terrifying. The MVP here is definitely the turret. You can place that down and distract these guys long enough to run in, grab some materials, and then run away. Probably cowardly, but hey, if it works and it gets me tier three upgrades early, I'll take it. And this appears to be our destination, giant crashed ship. Yeah, that'll be fine. What's up, Lucius? Ooh. Little Van Helsing action going on here. 10 rum bottles sitting in the hold. I think he may be a little bit cracked. He apparently managed to trap some sort of monster and I need its scales? You won't kill the devourer with normal weapons. You'll need a ship's gun made from parts of the swarm. Well, uh, until we do that, um, we're gonna be in trouble. So I guess I need something called the downpour cannon. Question, can I fast travel out of here? Is that even an option? Uh, yes. All right, that's good at least. So, what is it gonna take to get ourselves a special cannon? Uh, do -do 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 downpour, downpour, that's the downpour right there. It's a tier three! Oh, good. Um, that means I have to upgrade this using the marble that I've got, which I can do. Oh, credit where it's due, I can do that. And then I should probably go ahead and smelt up some of this swarmite ore, whatever the heck that's supposed to be. Okay, got some of those. I'll craft up the rest for good measure over here. And then what else did I need for this thing? Swords or shards of fangs. I'm guessing that means that I need to kill some monsters uh, in the air in order to harvest these. Great. On the plus side, I got a couple of tier three mods. So that's gotta be worth something, right? Sniper rifle magazine of epic quality. Yes, please. Same with the shotgun and they do extra damage against the swarm. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that seems helpful. So I guess the thing to do at this point is just to hop into swarm space, or skies, I guess, and just search for anything, literally anything, and hope that we find some good resources. Is there a way to destroy those things? Because that's what I want to destroy. Doesn't take any damage, though, so maybe you have to blow it up? Uh, let me toss some dynamite into it. Nope, that didn't do the job. Okay, we're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Ah! Someone place down the gun, distract them. I need silver and stuff. Oh, get off of me! Get off of me! God, these guys have so much more health, which makes sense, but at the same time, yowzes, dude. This is, um, this is gonna be rough. Oh, good, okay, you destroy enough monsters, the nest actually destroys itself. Perfect. Is that a spore, by the way? Looks like one of the spores that goes leading off somewhere to create more monsters. Yeah, we should probably be worried about that. So I think the lesson we take out of this is we want to spawn some monsters, get their attention, and then use the ship and or my turret to finish them off. That is probably the safest way to do things. And then as long as you clear out enough monsters and the spawners go away, then we have free reign to gather stuff up. Got it. Oh god, oh god. I seem to be trapped and stuck over here. This is a huge problem. I can't get out. I can't get out. 
uh, Luma, maybe you can save my life. Thank you. Holy crud. All right, uh, don't let them swarm you. Oh, that's why they're called the swarm. It makes sense. Honestly, it's a lot of work just for a small amount of ore. Oh boy, this is, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a rough one. Oh wait, is it those big things that have the, I think those might be the ones that have the claws. Okay, so we actually need to let some of these little aliens spawn. I probably could figure out what eggs correspond to what, but those are where we get that crucial claw. If I can get one more of those, we can get the cannons I need. Yeah, you can definitely predict what kind of egg is gonna produce what kind of alien if you carefully watch for it. So I specifically spawned this guy, knowing that he's gonna drop what I want, or maybe not. All right, it's a random chance. Maybe it doesn't matter what kind of alien you get. Maybe you just need to kill him regardless. Yep, it doesn't matter what you kill. All right, never mind. Just kill the little guys. Let them spawn and deal with them. Got it. Okay, so that should be all I need to get myself the downpour cannons, which are a straight up upgrade from what I've got right now, not to mention they do extra damage against the swarm. Perfect. There's definitely an element of procedural generation in the swarm's territory. There's a lot of islands that I'm like, I could swear I've seen this before, but it's in a different location. So this place really does just change randomly on you. Yeah, you'll never be able to find your way around. No wonder there's not a map. Anyway, hi, Mr. Hunter guy. I got the downpour. I built a gun out of their bodies. Does that count for something? We have to bait the beast first, though. What the heck is this over here? No idea. Okay. Uh, apparently, there's some sort of an herb or grass thing that it likes out here somewhere. Which honestly kind of lends credibility to my father's original theory that these things are just peaceful, and we probably really peeved them off. What the frick? There are giant weird piranha plants that my turret won't shoot at. Oh no. Oh no. This is, uh, mm, okay. Hang on. Um, I wasn't expecting to fight these guys. Ugh. The swarm just keeps having new tricks to show off all the time, don't they? Okay. Got him. So that gives me some sort of special herb. Cool. All right, we got the herb, Lucius. So, we're gonna have to use this to somehow draw the beast out to clear out the ship's debris, am I right? Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, okay. No, this is gonna be good. Oh, yep, nope, that got its attention, all right. Uh-oh. Kill the devourer, they say. Cannot be damaged by ordinary weapons. You must have the swarm cannon. Right, I'm nervous about this. So, do I even have enough ammo for this? Is this a thing? Am I gonna be okay? Because I got my doubts. I guess we're gonna find out in a sec. Oh my God, get out of the range of that thing, whatever that is. Ho ho, boom! Okay, we did a fair bit of damage. For one, don't get stuck on the walls. Okay, uh, and two, we need to get up like really close to it and broadside the frick out of it. That's my only hope. Fortunately, it creates so many of these little guys, they're blocking my shots. How rude. Oh, this is perfect, hit him hard. There we go, that's some damage. Ah, okay, maybe don't boost into a wall like that. And broadside! Hey, okay. We have enough ammo to do this. I just gotta be very careful and don't screw it up. I'm about to screw it up. Ah, nope, I'm stuck in a wall. Bad, 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 ow! Come here, my beauty. Line her up and boom, 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 boom! There we go, there we go. I'm trying to think what the point is of these little guys, if they exist just to annoy me or what. Uh, maybe if you blow them up on the devourer, it's a way of killing him if you run out of ammo. Because when you kill these little guys, they do tend to blow up. Like that, there, see? Oh my god, I just took a huge explosion hit though. <laughs> oh no. Uh, all right, so there's a very strong chance we still die here. Uh, if I can just get out of their range a little bit, let's just patch up a single hole. If we can patch up any of this, that should get me some health. And take the helm, there we go. All right, much better. We've almost got this. One more pass should be what we need. Come here, my beauty. Pew! There we go! Hey, hey, hey! Well, that kinda hurt and I'm limping out of here, but we did it, we killed the devourer. Lucius, are you proud of me? I get a special mod box for killing the boss. Well, that's nice. Hey, did I harvest its scales? Cause that was kind of the entire point. Oh, good Lord, what happened over here? Grandpa? No, the second bombardment killed my grandpa! I vow revenge on you, Kane! Uh... And what the heck is a swarm? Whoa, there's a swarm on our ship. What, um, he's an extra planar polyglot? Uh, 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 this just took a direction I wasn't expecting. It's telling me to destroy a bunch of swarm critters and I will get a reward. Uh, I, uh okay, okay. He's also apparently a vendor with some really weird looking swarm guns. Uh-huh. 
Right, um, didn't expect any of that, but okay. So, I think this is actually a good place for us to end this video. The next thing that we will be doing, in theory, is going to uh, Kane's Fort and taking him on directly. Trying to take that howitzer offline and then eventually continue finding out what is going on with the swarm because we are not done with them. Not by a long shot. However, that is where our sponsored series does officially end. So, I'm going to be ending things here unless you guys really want to see more. In which case, hey, I'm actually down for it. This game is pretty fun and I've been enjoying my time with it. Thank you once again to the developers for the sponsorship. I think you guys got a really neat game here and I think people will have fun with it. If you guys want to learn more, there is a link in the description down below. Otherwise, I'd ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.